Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Part eight, my last part of my cancer protocol. Well, the last component of my health protocol, my cancer protocol, if you want to heal yourself of cancer, positive mental attitude. You have got to be positive up here. I've always said this many, many times through the years. If this is, a, if you do everything I tell you to do perfectly, and this is against you, and this is negative, and this is just the, the worst. Your worst. This is your worst enemy. You're not going to make it. You have got. And, and if you only have this, many years ago we had this actor Steve McQueen. He says I got. He had cancer, and he says I got positive thinking. Positive thinking. Well, he still died. Because positive thinking isn't enough. You've got to, you've got to, this has got to be with you. You've got to be thinking positively, but you have got to be putting the right things into your body. You've got to be putting the right kind of substances in the body. Uh, if you, the, the reason you have cancer is because you put the wrong things into your body. And when I talk about a positive mental attitude, I also, I mean, you know, look, I always get beat up on this from people, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a big believer in God. I think you should have God in your life. I think you should have a prayer life. I think you should get up every day and dedicate your day to God. I'm not going to tell you, you know, I'm a, I'm a Catholic. You can be, you know, whatever religion, there's one God. Pray to that God and pray for your salvation and pray for for a good healthy life and if you're sincere in that I, you know I, I think maybe you can get some benefit out of that I, and in fact I know you will um, but uh, you know a lot of people don't like it when I say that I get a lot of comments and you know all sorts of emails from people that tell me geez I wish you know I, I agree with you 100% so you're t talking about God because I'm an atheist so stop talking about it well I'm not going to stop talking about God that's the most important thing in my life to me so here's what I recommend stay positive stay stay prayerful um, and know you're gonna make it but you got to do all these other things and what are the other things well we talked about them in the last video alkaline ionized water you gotta start drinking water this is how you should wake up in the morning and drink that take you go on a fast fasting is the single healthiest thing we can do for ourselves anytime is fast stop eating it's how you beat infectious diseases I told people when they get the COVID or you get any disease, you get any infectious disease, meningitis. I had meningitis. This year in the mosquitoes, we had encephalitis in Michigan. This is even more dangerous than meningitis. It's probably the most, the far I could see, one of the most dangerous infectious diseases I've seen come across yet that I've seen is encephalitis. This thing is 30% death rate, mortality rate. So it's dangerous stuff. So uh, you got to clear the blood. Stop eating. Stop putting all this junk into your body. I mean, you know, you go into the hospital for COVID or any other infectious disease, what are you going to get? They're going to get going to give you food. They're going to feed you. What are they doing that for? Because they don't understand health. They understand medicine. They're going to put you on IV. They're going to put you on antibiotics. Uh, what antibiotics? You know, they don't have a they don't have a vaccine for this thing. They're trying to kill it off. They're trying to kill your blood or you know just you know kill everything in your blood. That's what silver does. Silver kills everything in the blood, and that's how I cured myself of meningitis. So fast, clear the blood. This is the first thing you want to do if you have an infectious disease or a chronic disease, especially a serious one such as cancer. Stop eating. Any animal does it. They stop eating. They stop eating when they get sick. You'll see this. So you stop eating, and then, you know, what you, you could put silver. You could take silver. I would highly recommend that because you want to start clearing out. I want you to detoxify everything in your body. I, I want you to kill all these parasites, all this yeast, mold, fungus, all this stuff, kill everything in the blood, everything in the digestive tract, because you're polluted. And so I'm going to, we're going to go through a, a uh, biological purge, meaning I'm going to kill every bacteria, uh, virus, yeast, mold, fungus, parasite, everything you can find in your body that does belong there. And even that stuff that maybe does belong, we're going to kill it all. And then we're going to put in the friendly bacteria. So we're going to wipe the tablet clean and then we're going to put in, we're going to reformat it. And we're going to put in the friendly bacteria and get you back on the road there. And then we're going to start detoxifying you of the inert elements. So these are all the toxins, heavy metals, herbicides, pesticides, all the things that don't belong there, hydrocarbons. Every time you go fill up your car with gasoline, you smell that gas. Well, that's, those are hydrocarbons going right into your, into your lungs, directly into your bloodstream. And unless you're actively detoxifying on a daily basis the way I do, people ask me, do you ever go through a detox? I say, yeah, it's my life, my lifestyle. My, everything I do is detox. De every, I'm trying to always put, th put things into my body that get the bad things out of there. That's how I always stay so healthy. So, um, you know, and I don't put in a bunch of junk and then expect to try to get it out. Like, I don't go out and eat a big giant pizza and go, oh, I'll catch up that tomorrow. you got to play it smart. I, I stopped doing that many, many years ago. And you just got to be really committed to this. you got to be really committed to living. 
you got cancer, if you're determined to live, I guarantee you, you follow what I'm telling you here, people say, I'll do anything to live. Well, it turns out anything except maybe change my diet and stop eating the foods that I love. Well, I love a lot of foods that I don't eat, believe me. Uh, I mean, I would love to, you know, have a falafel every day uh, for, for lunch. That would be great. I would love to wake up in the morning like I did in New York for many years. I, I used to work in New York and have my ba bagel and cream cheese. I mean, New York City, best bagels in the world. Bagel and cream cheese. I get it every single day. I did it for years. You know, I wish I could eat those things. I wish I could have a peanut butter sandwich. I wish I could have a pizza. I wish I could have spaghetti and, you know, sauce and all. I wish I could do all that, but I don't. I don't. I stick to my raw food diet. I have juices. I have fruit. I have spirulina and chlorella, and I have a salad at night. It may sound boring, but the rewards. Here, look at the rewards. The reward is great health, clear thinking, clear thinking. Now, this is what my book is all about. So we've come to the end of this, and I've told you exactly what you got to do um, throughout this series. Um, you can email me. I said this in my last video. Please, e please email me, and, and I'll send you my cancer protocol. Uh, you know, I just want to see people get healthy. I really come to the point now uh, in my professional life where I really understand disease. I understand where cancer comes from. And by the way, cancer, you know, you're going to see it come, most of it, and they've said it themselves. I was misdividing. It's, it's, you know, what they say, a spelling mistake. You know, the cell didn't divide right. And so you, you've got this, you know, you've, you've got a genetic a cell mutation. A cell mutation, what, what, caused, what caused the mutation? Toxicity. It all comes back to toxicity. And this is something that doctors will not ever admit this, that toxins are, are what's at the heart of disease. They don't see it that way. So that's their worldview. And their worldview is, you know, determines everything. The worldview is we need to go to a laboratory and we're going we're to find a cure for disease in a laboratory. And my worldview is you are never going to find a cure for any disease in a laboratory. Now, now I'm not anti-science. Don't please don't mix me up with that crowd. Um, you, you know, it, it's you know people call me uh, claim I'm an anti-vaxer. Well, what what's in those vaccines? Look at what garbage is in them. I mean, they're human diploid cells. That's human cells. That's, you know, they put in bovine serum. You know, that's, you know, <laughs> blood serum from cows, from pigs, uh, heavy metals, thermosol, uh, aluminum, uh, uh, mercury. I, you know, I'm against that. You give me a vaccine that didn't have all that crap in it, you know, I, I might, you might get my attention. But at any rate, I don't even, I don't think you need those things to begin with. Did I need a vaccination when I got meningitis? No, I took silver. I took silver. I cleared my blood and I took silver. So please email me. I'll send you my pro protocol, my cancer protocol. I'll tell you what need, you need to do. I'll tell you how to get started. And the decision's always yours. yours. Um, I mean, I always tell people, and this is the truth, you know, health is in one direction, medicine is another. So I don't know anything about medicine. People say, you know, you better watch out that medical advice. What, what medical advice? I, I would say, I just, I don't use, here's what I would do. I don't use medical. I don't never taken a medication in my life other than when I, when I was a kid and my parents used to give it to me all the time. I had a vac bunch of vaccinations back in uh, 1970 or 1980 when I went traveling around the world because I, you know, I thought you had to have those and, you know, anyway, that was my mindset. Vaccinations, you got to you got to protect yourself against this. Well, anyway, I've learned so much from uh, since then, and I know how you can cure yourself of any disease and what you need to put into your body, what you need to stop putting into your body, and that's everything that my cancer protocol, my health protocol, my cancer protocol, everything, it's all about that right there. It's all about your diet, and all disease comes from your diet. So I hope you get something out of this. Uh, my book will be coming out. I'm going to be talking about my books next. And, um, you yeah, I'm really excited about it. I, I really am very satisfied with the job I did. I sp spent the first half of the book telling you why I, I, you know, I think the medical establishment fails miserably when it comes to disease. They're great in emergency situations to, to take care of you and for sports medicine, for physical therapy, for emergency services when you get an accident, this kind of thing, trauma. But when it comes to disease, chronic or infectious disease, they're all but worthless. They're all but worthless. So, uh, because they don't have any answers, not to those, those, they don't have any solutions, they don't have any pills, and they don't have any treatments that can cure you of any disease. The body can cure itself of any disease. So I spent about half the book explaining to you why they are not viable, and then I, the second half of my book is my cancer protocol, and I explain in great detail about how you can cure yourself 
of cancer and if you can cure yourself of cancer I think you understand you can cure yourself of any disease because cancer as they say it's the emperor of all diseases I don't know who said that oh yeah anyway I'll quote that guy in my book anyway dr. Bob um, I hope you find these videos useful and I hope you know you you got any questions I'm always here for you and uh, you just send me an email and I'll send back information and get you back uh, at least on the track on the, on the road to health and I wish everybody the best out there and um, we'll see you next time Dr. Bob